Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm just going to be talking about camera angle but in a very general sense. So this video is not going to be about if you do this then you have to do that or if you do this then you have to do that. This is just a discussion about what is the correct camera angle, what camera angle should you be running. If you're a beginner and you've gone through my previous videos and you've learned how the controls of the quad change when you go from a low camera angle to a ca high camera angle and you've experimented with high camera angle and you've experimented with low camera angle you've understood all of the things about how the quad flight characteristics change when you change that camera angle the question on your mind might be okay well what camera angle should I run should I be running what is the correct camera angle for me or if I want to be a professional racer what camera angle should I be running or if I want to be a professional freestyler, what camera angle should I be running? And the answer to that is whatever camera angle feels best to you. There is no recommended camera angle. It is purely personal preference. The point of the previous videos was to explore extremes of camera angle because by doing so it allowed me to demonstrate very clearly how the flight characteristic characteristics change when you go from low to high. So I very, very specifically concentrated on a very low camera angle and then on a very, very high camera angle. And this allowed me to show you in a, a more extreme fashion how the quad is changing and how the, the way it flies is changing. The reality is that having played around with that, if you've tried to fly at 60 degrees and you've tried to fly at 30 and you understand the differences between the two, it's very likely that you're going to find something in the middle that actually suits you best. And actually, you might find that for some tracks, and there's a, there's a reason why I'm on this particular track that you see in front of me now, you may find that on some tracks, a particular camera angle actually suits that track better than flying a particular fixed camera angle. And this is very common. If you go to fly in an indoor sports hall, for instance, it's very likely that the pilots flying in an indoor sports hall with their real quads will lower their camera angle. And the reason is they need to fly slower. You need to slow down. You haven't got all that space. They'll probably fit smaller props as well to reduce the thrust and the power. Bring the camera angle down, now you can fly more slowly and more in control. Go to a big open track that's very, very fast with gates spaced a long way apart. The camera angle is going to go up. The biggest, the bigger props are going to go on. The camera angle is going to go up because now you want speed. And if you want speed, then your quad's going to be angled up more and therefore you now need more camera angle. So when that's racing, but what about freestyle? Is there a correct angle for freestyle? Well, actually, this is a slightly more complicated answer in some respects because certain tricks uh, things like a matty flip or flying upside down or the illusion of flying upside down you cannot do without a very very high camera angle you just can't do it but generally for freestyle most freestyle pilots actually run somewhere in the 25 30 kind of range for freestyle and that's for your kind of general popping up over trees flying around obstacles doing rewinds or whatever you want to call them uh, your normal kind of flying around trees and you know doing smooth turns and curves and uh, flying under fences and all that kind of stuff power looping through a gap in trees all that kind of stuff that's all perfectly achievable at a low 25 to 30 degree camera angle uh, and actually it will also give you slightly higher drop rates uh, and make your videos a little bit more exciting if you're dropping more nose first because the quad is most aerodynamic when it's coming down nose first when you're coming down upside down or the right way up with the flat of the quad presented to the wind it actually slows it down even if it's inverted it will slow it down compared to coming down directly nose on nose first and come down quicker so actually running that lower camera angle particularly if you're doing diving type moves you can get more speed for your freestyle videos and of course speed makes it look more exciting but if you want to do matty flips then you're going to have to put that camera angle up because 
ratty flips rely upon that higher camera angle sideways loops and all that kind of stuff they all work a bit better with a higher camera angle so to stop me wittering on here about camera angles the point is whatever you find suits your flying and where you feel comfortable is the right camera angle for you and you may need to change that depending on what you're trying to do with your quad so if you're trying to do upside down stuff and tricks and stunts high camera angle if you're trying to do nice flowing smooth 3d probably want a lower angle if you're on a really tight course indoors lower camera angle if you're on a big open fast course outdoors higher camera angle you kind of get the idea you want to pick the thing that's going to work best for you and then for you know you if your club always flies the same kind of race tracks same kind of layouts you may find that you can fix your camera angle at 45 46 48 degrees whatever it is you decide you settle on as being where you're comfortable and leave it there and just fly everything at that one camera angle as I say there's no right answer it's what's the situation what's the type of flying where do you feel comfortable personal preference okay so just to demonstrate that where I am here this is the Western Park 2017 track and this track in the sim has got uh, a rather difficult little section straight off of the start line so what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm gonna run I'm gonna run at 30 degrees which is not normally where I fly I normally fly at a higher angle than 30 I'm normally up in the 45 to 55 range somewhere in there depending on the track so this track if you fly it at 30 degrees one of the things it allows you is a much tighter I screwed it up the first time I tried to do it but one, what, what it allows you is a much tighter line so I was expecting a wider line coming into it because I normally fly this at a, a higher angle but I was expecting a, a wider line into that box because that's really quite a difficult turn to make into that three height box but at 30 degrees because you're going so much slower you can actually turn much more tightly into that into that box section and it gives you a bit more time to think through this section uh, go through these really quite small gates and then again I almost turn too tightly coming into there because I'm running a slower quad and a slower speed I'm normally used to having to turn a hell of a lot tighter because I'm running a slightly faster quad with a higher camera angle usually when I'm flying this track so this is an example of where having the lower camera angle slows you down gives you the ability to turn a bit tighter so let's change this up let's now move to 45 degrees and this is gonna without a doubt you can see straight away it's actually sp sped things up it's actually harder for me to fly this slow and you can see into that box I was flying a wider line and that was because the quad's traveling faster now I'm at a 45 degree camera angle the quad's going faster you can see as I'm coming through these sections I'm actually flying faster than I was I'm just trying to get a flow here and you can see it's a wider line into there and I'm to concentrate a bit more so let's change it up again let's now go up to we'll try 55 55 degrees so I'm gonna be flying quite a bit faster now it's, going to be, it's much harder for me to, to slow the quad down now and you can see I had a really wide line into that into that box there it almost didn't make it it was a, a blip of power was required to kind of get me around that corner and back on that line and you can see this forcing this camera angle is now forcing me to fly this track probably faster than I, than I actually want to kind of used to that turn there now after doing it the first time Okay, so as you can see, the quad's getting faster because I'm putting the camera angle up, but that's that's part and parcel of higher camera angle. But it's also making this track harder to fly 
because it's some of these turns are not really designed for that higher camera angle. It's actually an easier track to fly back down at this lower camera angle and I'm just trying to try and find the sweet spot here. So let's um, let's try 40 and see how that how that feels as a, as a sweet spot for flying this particular flying this particular track. So doesn't feel too quick. Ooh, turned a bit too tight coming through there, so let's go back and run that section again. So I get used to the angle again because I've been changing it around a lot. Yeah, so that turn really felt quite natural through there at 40 degrees. You might be saying, well actually no, it doesn't look that fast Ash, you know, you need to you need to pick it up a bit. Well you can fly it faster, you know, you're gonna just look down a little bit more from like you can't fly this faster at a 40 degree angle because you, know, you can fly this nice and fast at a 40 degree angle. It's not it's not like it's you know, beyond the realms of, of possibility to fly this track quickly at a lower camera angle. You can fly it at the same kind of speed as I was flying it at 55 degrees. It just requires a different flying style. I'm looking down at the ground a little bit more but you know, it's perfectly flyable at these faster rates. So it's completely personal preference. It's not going to slow you down running at, at lower camera angles. It's just going to change what you're doing on the sticks. So the point of the video is there is no correct angle. There is only one situation I can think of where you absolutely have to fly the higher camera angles and that's for flying upside down or creating the illusion of flying upside down which I'll do in another video later on because it's really quite an advanced thing flying upside down but I'll show you how you do that but for that you absolutely have to have a higher angle but outside of that outside of matty flips and flying upside down the angle you fly for your quad is entirely down to you it's entirely where you're comfortable and, and it could also be entirely down to the track that you're trying to fly so match your angle to the situation and where you feel comfortable Okay, that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.